Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are off today to do what we promised yesterday. Right. We, we had to. We, we we decided that we had to promise yesterday what we were doing today, so we'd make sure that we did it. I'm just saying yes. Yeah. She's <laughs> just saying. <laughs> We wanted to see some temples, because here in Kusami there are a lot of temples. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do today. And Maybe get to another waterfall. Yeah, we do. It's a, it's a temple and waterfall day. Yeah. So we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to run really quickly to the mall, see if we can find a dress. Right. And then we will. I don't know. So let's go. Maybe food first. Oh, food. It's doing promotions. And then back here we have That's the first really big store I've seen in a long while. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 100%. What was the one in Phuket? Yeah, and that wasn't that big. Mm, no. Yeah, this place is fairly nice. We just have to find unique work. This whole area is awesome. Yeah. Besides some G fuel, we might, we might find everything that we need here. <laughs> That's awesome. It's awesome clothes, and what do we have in the window? Uh, so we finished up in the mall, found a lot of things. We are going to come back yeah, uh, right. tomorrow to get some things. Uh, we realized that there's a lot of things that we do need to get and need to replace after, the, after four months. Uh, so we're gonna go do that tomorrow. But we are gonna go now find some food and... Right. and the first temple. Yeah. So we're gonna head north from here. Well, let's go. So, what are we doing? We found a soup place, I think. We think. It looks like blue soup. Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Not only did we find a soup place, we found a halal soup place. And we know how yeah, much we like we this. noticed, I don't know why, but we like halal food. Yeah, we really like halal food. It tastes different. Yeah, but um, yeah, we've got our lady, she's got our soup going. They've got, oh, the chicken looks delicious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. So we find finally good place. Yeah. But so, it's not that much or not that easy here. Yeah, it's not that easy to find. But I mean, we, the thing is, is it's just hard to find, but you can find it. Like what's funny is we're in this weird <laughs> store. The, yeah. the, I think I think the store was just abandoned and the doors were left open. So they just put their soup cart in front of it and then put chairs in here and said, okay, we're gonna steal it. I don't know what this over there is. There's tires and there's clothes that used to be here and stuff. They put in some chairs and they're like, okay, this is our restaurant now. Right. I love this. I love the ingenuity. I mean, it's like, it's almost like the Wild West. There's like no rules, so I like it. Uh, chicken rolls. And what's cool is they they chop the yeah. they chop the chicken for you. And I think it's a light broth. It's a very light um, chicken broth. Mm -hmm. So it's not the the broth that we've no. been. Used to for the last month on on um, you know, on, but let's try it. It's a very light. Wow. It's like 
chicken soup. Yeah, like we would do it at home. Yeah. yeah. And I like, it's interesting that they chop the chicken up for us. They didn't put the leg in, no. they just chop the chicken up. That's, that's really odd. I like it. It's good. It's, it's not what we're used to, but yeah. the thing is, is we're not in the same region of Thailand anymore. We're not in the Muslim, we're not in that area anymore, so we're getting I this like, type No, of it's a really light, so I don't know, you would cook it at home. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good lunch. Good lunch, right. Getting ready for temple. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. The like is still on her. Uh... Yeah, because I added more, uh, more broth because it was just stuffed with sauce. <coughs> like Richard liked it. I like it a lot more thick, and like it just likes it like that. That's fine with me. I'm happy. Mm, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's yeah. delicious. It's it's so weird having them chop the chicken up again. It, it feels like like we feel like we're tourists because <laughs> when we had the big legs and we ripped it off, it was always like we felt we're part mm -hmm. of it. But this time, it's like they shredded the chicken. It's weird. It is weird. Yeah. We we had an interesting just experience with our thing. So out front it says you know fifty baht per soup. So I walk out and I give her a hundred baht. Yeah. And. She goes, it's 140. I'm like, 140? Yeah. 20 baht more per soup? And then she was saying, trying to say that she made it special for us. I think because she chopped the chicken. Yeah, I don't know, but it's like, you, you, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Like, it's like, we, we didn't ask for special, we asked for the soup, and they gave us the soup, and they're trying to upcharge us. That right. really pisses me off. Mm -hmm. But I only gave them 100 baht, and I said, point to the sign that says 50 baht, so. Right, right. But anyways, it was good soup, but just make sure you don't let people rip you off. Right. Yep. Now right behind us is the entrance Left. to the uh, right. temple, so that's where Our we're going to go next. Temple. Our first temple. <laughs> so this is Wat Plai Lime, and it's a really modern Buddhism temple, and it combines uh, Chinese and Thai elements yeah it's 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 very different so it, it's it's very new the, the statue that you're seeing right here as you can see it is not a Mahatma Buddha it is a Goyan a Chinese 18 armed version of it so um, there's a lot of modern pieces around here as you can see you've got uh, temples to Ganesha you've got temples to all the different Buddhist gods but they're also done in a Chinese style yeah right. It looks what, more Chinese to me than Yeah, it Thai. looks a lot more Chinese to me yeah. as well. Uh, these the, the buildings are really cool, so yeah. let's, uh, let's go take a look. It looks like a temple for Vishnu because you can see above, we see Garuda carrying Vishnu up there. And you have Buddha down here. And you have Buddha, uh, the story of Buddha on these doors, which is cool. Enlightenment, teaching. Uh, as you can see, this this one looks like before he was uh, enlightened, uh, he was meditating under the tree. You can see above his head, it's not uh, glowing yet. I really like these. I love I love the uh, different ways that they depict the story of Buddha. Um, this place is a sprawling complex. It's fairly big. I really, really enjoy seeing this. Well, look at you. That's a little more out, don't you? I was looking that up because I have this wheel on my pants as well. Now I wanted to know what that is. See the wheel right there that we're always seeing? That's called the Dharma wheel. And it represents the perfection of Dharma. And it's also the, what represents the Buddha's teaching. And the rim of the wheel uh, represents meditative concentration and mindfulness. And the hub represents more discipline. You can see here how very Chinese this area is.
That's a big boy. But he's jolly and happy. That's all that really matters, right? Can't go to a temple and not go and say hi to uh, Ganesha. You know? He's my butt. He's my pal. He's my friend. This is Ganesha. Okay. This is Vishnu. Oh, my life is gonna love you. Okay. Rolling With the Dharma the wheel. Dharma wheel. What we learned. And I have that on my pants. Okay, so. <laughs> again. The Dharma wheel. I have the Buddhism pen. pants. <laughs> Sexiness with the hat. Okay, well, this temple is absolutely beautiful. We're not going to go through every building here because we want you know there to be a surprise when you come out here. But it's really nice. It's a really nice area. I like yeah. it, especially because the temples are some kind of floating on the water. It's not, but yeah, but there's they, water they're all, around. Yeah, they're yeah. all basically on the water, which yeah. is really nice. So the next temple we're going to is Big Buddha. Big Buddha. We haven't seen Big Buddha since we were in uh, Phuket. So, yeah. right. Let's go say hi. <laughs> like it's riding side saddles. I'm sitting sideways, like a lot of ties, and we're trying it now. It's, oh my god, it's so weird. Yep. It's pretty unstable, that's for sure. You're telling me I can't turn. <laughs> Oh. Okay, this this curve was a bit scary because it is like when you do snowboarding and you have to lean away from the mountain. That curve was scary. <laughs> and now I'm enjoying the view. <laughs> we... <laughs> we like the regular way, right? It's so much easier. <laughs> There's so much stress on my abdomen and my arms trying to keep this in a, its park way. But do I, are you saying I'm fat? No, I'm saying the bike's unbalanced. <laughs> and you're long. And and it's it's your 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 long beautiful legs. <laughs> There's they, they're just all on this side so all the weight is that way so yeah, yeah. Okay. and since you have no other weight anywhere else on your body you weigh nothing you know therefore all the weight is over there that's what it, that. mm -hmm. it just took three minutes from the one temple to this temple and it's called big buddha welcome to big buddha So if you look very closely behind Buddha's head here, what do you see? We have Dharma. Dharma wheel. Yeah. Yep, now we know what that is. This Buddha up there is 12 meter tall and was built in 1972. And the whole complex here, the temple area, is built on a small island, um, Kofarn. And this is connected through a causeway, causeway yeah. through Kosamui. So we're actually on a small mini island. Yeah, which is really cool. Buddha gets his own island. Huh. I love all the staircases have the dragon down them. It really right. makes me happy. I really love these things. But this is not, not a one way I can do it. No. Six meters tall, that's a pretty big Buddha. It's not as big as the big Buddha, but it's a big Buddha. <laughs> the big Buddha, of course, I'm with. No, I think it's beautiful out here. And it's, again, surrounded by water because it's an island. Uh, 
it's it's Turn not it's not a traditional Buddha. Buddha. That's why I'm guessing there's not the secondary steps to go down, so your back's not to Buddha. Mm -hmm. It's a little odd, it really is. I mean, it's. I think not the, the you know the place or the position where I usually put in Buddha because it's right at the airport. Yeah, it is. The airplanes are flying right over. Mm -hmm. It's pretty it cool. It gets pretty loud in yeah. between, so. Okay, well, that's pretty much the big Buddha, so we're off to the next temple. Okay, so we're driving down a back road and uh, Malaika goes, stop, stop. What? It's a penis. <laughs> a what? There's a penis. What are you talking about a penis? Say, yeah. Are we allowed to say? Penis? You can say penis. Yeah, I think penis is okay. It's a, yeah, yeah. But um, um, yeah, it's a golden one. Okay, this this side. Uh, this side looks. I wasn't sure, and then we passed it a bit further, and I saw the other side, and then I was like, okay, it is, it is. And he has piercings. <laughs> I mean, uh, why? <laughs> All hail the golden penis. The holy penis, yeah. So what's funny is this. <laughs> We're driving down the road and I see this little itty bitty tiny German restaurant that she would lure me up and I'd be like, oh, hey, let's look and see it. So I saw that she didn't. We drive by this and that she said, there's a penis. It was golden. <laughs> Welcome. All hail the golden penis. Ah, oh, there. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Just to let you know, here at Between the Blue, we will always, always go the extra mile for you. Right. We told you this is going to be a temple day. And we brought you to the penis temple. Now let's go to a bigger golden mound. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not much. You can see it, see it. That's not. We so saw this this pagoda multiple times um, in the distance on the hill. And now we decided to. Yeah. To so, come here. as I said, the next golden mound. We had the golden penis, and now we have the golden pagoda. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> it's not that bad. We did much worse. Oh, oh, oh. We did a lot lower. A lot worse. 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 <laughs> So it turns out you have to buy a ticket to come to the pagoda. That's new for me. Right. 20 baht. 20 baht. But you get this really cool view. Are you ready for it? Come check this out. <laughs> Watch all the airplanes take off. Cool. It's a nice view up here, actually. You can see the Buddha. The Buddha there? Oh, yeah. See him? So if you see right there, that's Big Buddha. Let's see what we got with the rest of this pagoda. So the pagoda stands atop this temple. I don't believe the market shoots in here. Yeah, we can. So it's Buddha's footprint. We'll make arms there. Oops. Oh, it looks like everything's covered because it looks like they are doing a renovation inside here. They're painting, they're redoing details, they're adding mm -hmm. new uh, um, bulbs. I think they're just making this, it looks like. It's very nice. Actually, I want to get a picture of it with a uh, poor guy who put there. He has to make that up there. <laughs>
<laughs> this is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and a plane's about to take off, which is really cool. And the view is really cool. It wasn't so cloudy and smoggy. I think yeah. there's a fire. I think there's a fire somewhere. It's causing it to be very foggy and smoldery right now. But, yeah. Go say hi to Big Buddha. That down there is the lake. Northern Coast Samoy. It's a very nice pagoda. I mean, yeah. it's nothing to write home about on uh, ways of pagodas, but you know, it's a nice pagoda up here. Great view. So I definitely suggest yeah, you come up for right. the view. Yeah, it's bad, so it's okay. Yeah, it's inexpensive. So yeah, come on up and check it out. Okay. We are going to go and head back to the hotel because we want to go and jump in the pool for a little bit. We've been working a lot for you guys in the last few days. We're mm -hmm. gonna we're gonna go and go into the pool. Come on, let's go. <sighs> that was relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. We sat in the pool for a few hours, relaxed, had alcoholic beverages, and now we are showered up. Right. And get some food. What are we gonna try first? He wants to go to the mall because he saw the. He wants maybe to buy a new drone. Maybe yes. Uh, the Mavic that we had did took, take a dump in the ocean, if you guys remember, and we put it in rice. Um, we have been seeing some major deterioration on it. A lot of shaking. Uh, it just spazzing out for no reason. Not being able to fly. Uh, and we want to be able to keep giving you drone footage, and I think it really improves the vlog. What do you think? Yes, and you want something new to play. It's not new. I've got one. I just want one that works. <laughs> I really want to get the uh, the drone that's working, and it's actually very inexpensive here. It's like half the price in the United States, so it makes me really happy. So we're gonna try and go get it right now. If we can't get it now. We'll get it tomorrow. But let's go get that and some food because I think the street market's open. Hopefully. Kasoi? We will see. We will see. Okay, that was good. Woohoo! We are heading into the mall, seeing if we can find the drone, if we can. I'm gonna get it so we can get drones back in the vlogs. It's right there, see it? Right there. Tomorrow. So we were leaving and Malika going down the escalator and Malika goes, hey, isn't that the lady that works at the store? Mm -hmm. And she was. Yeah, I see these things. And it's guess what? Weird. It's not sometimes really weird what I'm seeing. <laughs> and now we're here. Getting the drone. Dun, dun, dun. This is a new one. She's getting to open my toy before I do. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Okay, we verified everything is in there. We got a free memory card, 32 gig. That'll last for five minutes. And we are good. Tough and cup. We'll see you on YouTube. <laughs> so there was a path to go and get the food, and I was walking towards it. And like, he goes, no, no, we got to go the other way. I'm like, why? It's right here. No, 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 we can go this way. <laughs> yeah, you. You're the reason why. Look at her. She's cute. Yeah. Just for me. There he's walking for this new drone. It's so funny. You're buying a drone for what? Over 500 something? And now we're going eating street food for 50. See, this, okay, the, one of the things is. is 
this is one of those things that we were talking about earlier yeah. today. Right. There are things that we need to fix. The drone died and we needed the yeah, drone. No. So it's not part of our daily budget, but it's stuff we need. We're gonna have to get shirts tomorrow. We gotta get pants tomorrow. We gotta get stuff like shirts have been ruined. We've gotta get new clothing and stuff. So these are things we have to do. And unfortunately, I, here's the thing. I did not want to get this. I was trying to run our drone as much as we could. The other day, it just, you could see how shaky it was. And at yeah. once it failed. So the I was thinking, as always. So I, I was really hope. I was thinking that we would have to wait till Bangkok to get it. And if we couldn't get it in Bangkok, maybe have to go to the United States, can't get it in Germany. Mm -hmm. So everything just came together with it being here. And it's a hundred dollars cheaper than it would be in the United States. So it was 19,000 baht. At the end of the day, that was $560. If I would bought this exact kit in the United States, it would have cost me 650 something dollars. So I saved, I saved 100 bucks and I got a free memory card. So I'm happy. Okay, let's go get some food. Chicken oh, when did we had, all had Thai last? Last? Oh my god, it's uh, easily Patong Beach in Phuket. Yeah, we haven't had Pad Thai in a very long no, time. Uh, oh, you've PP. had it. You had it on PP, on yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kom Yam Yam. Yeah, we had it there. I, I didn't have it, she had it. Yeah, right. um, we, oh, that was at, we had it at Pad Thai. Yeah, the, yeah, the Pad Thai place. But it's been a very long time. So this is actually kind of cool. Kicking it in the hammock. And we're not getting any sugar in it, so it's not gonna be too sweet. So that makes me very happy. It's time to eat. That's good. Now we gotta check the sweetness since they didn't put any uh, sugar in it, which makes me happy. I hate sugar in Pad Thai. It is like my... It is actually always a bit sweet. You know what I mean? Mmm. Wow, this is... Oh, oh. It's good, right? That is mm -hmm. damn good Pad Thai. We know where we're gonna be coming in. Mm -hmm. That's really good. This was 50 baht a piece, 100 baht. Yeah. That's five bucks. And the drone cost 500. This is a little cheaper. <laughs> a little cheaper, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, it tastes really good. It's delicious. Oh, my God. Mm, yeah. mm. We will eat that now. So, tell them your thoughts about the food. I am, I am, I've said many a times how uh, Pad Thai is sweet, Pad Thai doesn't taste this way, Pad Thai blah blah blah. And my love for Pad Thai comes from Kosan Road, a lady on the street, and you tell her this is what you want, this is what you don't want. I haven't had that, I haven't had that ability uh, at all. Tonight I was able to tell her I would like my Pad Thai, I would like it with no tofu, and I would like it, please, with no shirt. Those are the only instructions this I gave her. <laughs> and she came up with what I would consider the best pad thai I've had Aww. in my life. I, and she showed her down. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I went over and I told, I wrote it in <laughs> Thai and everybody over there started clapping and stuff like that. It was so cute. She was, who was going there and it showed her that and she was reading it loud and those old people there, <laughs> I was watching them, it was so cute. Yeah, they, they were leaning, you know, sideways. They were like, like this. Okay, what is, he, what is he saying there? And then they started clapping, it was yeah. cool. So we're at Central Samui, so it's, oh, it's the really mall good. right here, okay? And the mall goes like across right here. And there's this like little market here. And this lady right here, we see her right there. Pad Thai, you'll see her, she's right here. You get your butt, tell her I sent you. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm still enjoying. <laughs> 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 
Well, anyways, we made it home. Yep. Uh, we got some milk because we got tricks today. <laughs> and we wanted- We bought them. <laughs> Malika had never had tricks no. before. And so she tried it today and she really wants to have it for breakfast tomorrow. Right. So um, we'll be doing that. Uh, tonight we're going to sit back and play some video games. And uh, tomorrow is sort of a day off. We're gonna really do some shopping. We're gonna get some uh, shirts and short, shirts, sh pants, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And what else do you need? Your whiskey. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, well, it was great having you guys enjoy the temples with us today. Hope you liked it, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See tomorrow. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>